So tonight, as a group, a small group, we're talking about relationships. And the relationships that people make are often relationships that are not good for them. You see, the funny thing is they make these alliances. People make alliances and then they don't think about how the alliances are either angel-assisted or demon-devised. An angel-assisted alliance gives you unconditional love all the time. An angel-assisted alliance gives you education and lessons in life. An angel-assisted alliance will also give you some challenges because every relationship in the world has its ups and downs. But generally speaking, a conversation between a boy and a girl is usually about love. When a man is only interested in something for himself, he's not interested in hanging around much. He's not going to be the cuddler. He's not going to be the snuggler. He's not going to be anything other than the guy that you're sexting with or sexing with. He wants you to come in and cook. He wants you to come in and clean. He wants you to come in and caretake his kids because somehow he managed to lose his first wife. But openly, he's not looking for a second wife. He's looking for a trophy wife. If you see, I lost this one, or I killed this one, or I ruined this one, but I've now got me this. Everybody look at this. And that's not healthy, and it's not wise. The demon-devised relationships are what someone puts upon you. They try to play matchmaker for you. They try to assist you out of the relationships that are right for you and push you into relationships that are wrong with you. One thing a pastor or a minister or a priest like me does not do is try to connect people in love. You see, those connections belong to God. I always encourage my students and the folks in our parish to put their words to the Lord, to use a journal that's leather bound and to write them privately and profound of Lord, this is the type of characteristics, the 20 traits that I really want demographically for my next love to have. And when I do that, I need some secret code words coming through that individual that proves that he's from you, the house of the Lord. And I'm not going to share these words with anyone, not even any girl girlfriends, about what I do. I'm just going to provide these to you, Lord, and pray that you will deliver what I need for my life in terms of my wife or if it's the other side of the coin in terms of my husband. At the same time, I'm going to test this relationship through the house of the Lord. I'm going to put things out there with the Lord to say, these are the pieces of music I want him to play. These are the types of words I want him to say. And these are the types of things I need him to bring to the relationship. I want someone who will raise me up on eagle's wings. I want someone who will praise me in everything. And I want someone who will really love me to the end of time. A demon-devised relationship is never like this. It has its ups and downs and it has its sparks and its fire, but it doesn't have that burning fuel that endures.